Hi, this is Shannon from Canada Wig, and I'm here with another wig review. This time we are looking at Ruby by John Renault. Um, Ruby is part of their 2017 fall collection, and it is a basic cap wig with a smart lace front. So um, you do just get a wefted cap, which is going to keep you nice and cool, and then you have the smart lace, which allows you to pull it off the face. So that's really nice, because I think um, you could definitely do some fun things with this style, pulling this off the face. You could pull it right off the face like that if you want. Um, or you could just pull it off the face and, and pin it aside if that's something you wanted to do. So a few different options you have with this one. Um, it does have a bang, as you can see, um, and there's, you can kind of do a lot of different things with it. You could pull it forward if you wanted to. Um, you could brush it to the side like how I had it. I personally think to the side is, is what's going to work the best. Um, I will note with this color you can see a bit of the weft because it is the basic cap. So that's why I'm kind of pulling this that way. It's, it's kind of covering that. Um, Depending if you get a darker color, then you won't have to worry so much about that, but it does, uh, you're going to be a little more careful with a wand like this with your styling options just because you don't want to, you don't want to reveal those wefts, you want the hairs to be covering it, so just something to keep in mind when you're choosing colors for this one. The measurements on this wig are 4.5 inches at the top, it has a bang of 6 inches, um, it's 2.5 to 3 inches on the sides and the back, and then the nape is um, 3 inches. So. It is a very short pixie cut, um, and you get really good coverage in the back here. So that's really nice if you um, you do have bio hair and you don't want to shave it off and you don't want to constantly be shaving your nape. It's really nice when you get that coverage with the wig. You don't have to worry about that. Um, so I'll just show you again here up close the lace front. This one's really, really well done. Um, that is one nice thing with the light colors like this is that you don't see any of the knots there on the lace front. So definitely very happy with that, and you could easily like pull this right off the face like that if that's something you want it, if that's how you wanted to wear this one, and I don't think anybody's ever really going to notice that um, that you're wearing a wig. And especially if you don't, you can see I have a little bit of my natural bio hair color there, but if you don't have any, then you can definitely pull that right off the face and there won't be any issues. Um, this one you could wear over the ear, or you can tuck it behind the ear if you prefer. Um, either style, or either, either way to wear that would work. And then, yeah, as I said, it's just the basic cap, so you're you're gonna get wefts there, and that's just something you're gonna have to live with. But I think, um, given the amount of height that you have with this one, depending on how you want to style it, um, I don't necessarily know that you're gonna have huge problems with the wefts, especially if you get a rooted color. Um, that's probably my biggest advice for something like this: is if you are gonna go blonde, just try and get a rooted color if you're worried about the wefts, because that will that will disguise it really nicely. So let me just show you this one from all sides. So overall this one, um, it's cute and very, very lightweight. It's very easy to wear because it is a basic cap. The price point is going to be really nice. Um, it should last you for a very long time because there's not going to be any friction or anything going on here. So I think um, if those are all things that are important to you, then you'd probably really, really like this style. And like I said, um, I think there's a few different ways you can style this. If you got some like styling cream or even some wig safe hairspray, I think you could further, you know, mess up the texture and, and really just kind of do some funky things with it. So definitely had some options. So this is Ruby by Jarmino. I Oh, um, I should mention the color. I didn't mention the color. It's 22F16. So that is the blonde here we're looking at. Um, it's a very pretty blonde. It's a bit more on the ashy side, I would say. It's definitely not golden or yellow. So if you're someone who likes an ashy or blonde and you don't want the roots, then I think this would be a really good choice for you. Minus the issue, like I said at the top, um, you have to kind of live with that if you choose not to go with a rooted blonde. So. There we go. That is Ruby by Jarmino. I hope this was helpful. If you want to see more of these wig reviews, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much and have a good day.